offices, factories, and schools. Animals also produce waste. Wastes are of two types. Solid waste and liquid waste. Solid wastes. In our homes, we generate waste in our kitchens, like fruit and vegetable peels, leftover food, etc. We also throw away glass and plastic bottles, jars, paper, plastic, polythene bags, nails, other metal pieces, etc. We should not throw all these wastes together in one dustbin. We should segregate it. We should put the dry waste in a separate dustbin and the wet waste in another dustbin. The wet wastes are produced from plants and animals. These decay and become a part of the soil. They are termed as biodegradable. The dry wastes are not natural products. These are man-made. These either take a very long time to become a part of the soil or never become a part of the soil. These wastes are non-biodegradable. The wet waste can be converted into compost, manure which fertilizes the soil. The dry waste can be recycled and used. Let us do an activity. Dig a small hole in the soil. Place a banana peel in it. Cover it up. Place a few nails in another hole in the soil and cover it. Mark both the places. Dig both the holes after two weeks. You will notice that the banana peel has decomposed and got mixed in the soil. But the nails remain as they are. Liquid wastes. Liquid waste is produced in our homes, kitchens, bathrooms and factories. These are emptied either into the rivers or in the sea. This causes pollution. Liquid waste should be treated so that harmful germs, chemicals and other hazardous substances present in them are destroyed. Only then should these be discharged into the rivers and seas.